Just how are jobs in the realm of cyber defense making cyber security everybody's business? I'm Mike Loder, this is Ending Cyber Risk. Welcome back to Ending Cyber Risk, presented by the team at Arctic Wolf, where each episode we unpack the ways we can help end cyber risk online. Amidst the dynamic challenges of the cybersecurity workforce, we look at the strategies and adaptations required to address the skills shortage in the sector at the moment. Joining me now to unpack this further is Nick Schneider, President and CEO of Arctic Wolf. Thank you so much for joining me. Good to be here. All right. How can cybersecurity companies address a shortage by expanding their hiring beyond their traditional tech hubs? We're talking universities, uh, places like that. What are you seeing? Yeah, I mean, I think there's an opportunity in cybersecurity for really effectively everybody. So it doesn't matter which geography you're in or where you've kind of studied or where you've you know grown up. I think there are opportunities and roles within cybersecurity that present an opportunity uh, for a real fruitful career uh, and one that uh, I think is fairly unique in 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 the sense that you're helping you know people as well uh, as you know the technological advancement kind of within your own organization. So uh, we've seen a lot of creative ways for folks to bring you know people into their organizations that become superstars, uh, and they just need some time. Interesting. I mean, I help my grandparents with their iPhone from here time <laughs> to time. I wouldn't call myself an expert, but in light of the shrinking security divisions that we're seeing and that skills shortage. How does this affect hiring practices uh, in the cybersecurity industry? Um, you did talk about sort of celebrating people and things like that. Is there anything else yeah. you wanted to touch on? Yeah, I, I mean, I think, um, again, it's really important to kind of leverage different communities to drive awareness of cybersecurity as a career, to drive um, some interest in, in those communities uh, as with cybersecurity as a career. I think some folks think that you have to, you know, be a coder or you have yeah. to be somebody that's hyper technical to uh, enter the field. And that that's just not true. There's a lot of roles where you can start and learn the business business as, as part of an organization and then kind of grow into more senior roles or more complex roles over time. And, and I think that's an opportunity for folks that are looking to do something slightly different uh, and differentiated, especially in a job market that's not as strong as it maybe you know had been a few years ago. Absolutely. We're not just people with hoods on in the dark that's rooms as, as depicted in many things. But uh, for small to medium uh, enterprises with limited resources, what strategies could they adopt when it comes to protecting their environments and uh, if they can't afford you know, these extravagant services or perhaps the right skill mix? Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's more and more government programs okay. uh, that are helping um, businesses to make sure that they're becoming safe. I think some of that is uh, financial. Some of it is just awareness. So uh, the government's doing a better job of letting people know what they need to focus on and kind of in what priority. Uh, and then secondly, I think uh, businesses, you know, imagine that they have to focus on where they can get the best bang for their buck. So how can they marry kind of the security operations and the technical side of, of cybersecurity with this kind of human element uh, and then kind of fold that together into the outcomes that are most impactful to their business. Nice, okay. uh, and, and, you know, I think we do that through security operations, but, the, but, but focusing on kind of the outcomes versus the individual tools or telemetry, I think okay. is Okay, good important. advice. Well, let's talk security operations there and why do you believe it's crucial um, for resource strap organizations uh, to take that approach um, yeah. to, again, get that bang for their buck and yeah. have an organized way of managing these threats? Yeah, we, we just view security operations as an outcome-based uh, approach. So okay. understand how to detect and respond, understand your vulnerabilities, train your people, have an instant response plan, and have the outcomes that are associated with those, which is really to protect your business or your organization. I think sometimes um, cybersecurity becomes too complex within an environment, yeah. too complex within an organization, and you're driving towards the right things, but it's hard to actually measure how you're doing against it. And I think security operations kind of reduces that complexity and delivers the outcomes that customers are looking for when they buy you know, any individual tool or, or, or product. Is it too early to call it a silver bullet? Yeah, I mean, I think cybersecurity is a pretty complex and very quickly evolving market. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure that there's a silver bullet yet for yep. cybersecurity, but I certainly believe that in the end, um, the the winning vendors or the winning solution for an entity is to have a security operations program 
that really focuses on kind of the end game that they're after. It doesn't focus on the milestones in between. I'm with you. Um, and well, helps them to understand uh, things over time. Nick, if I can touch on the, what I said in the beginning, that cybersecurity has become everybody's business. Uh, how does that translate into career uh, opportunities regardless of one's industry? You did talk about it a little bit before, but can we unpack it further for those at home who might be considering? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, cybersecurity uh, is an industry where there are multiple different roles. So you could uh, you could be someone that's hyper technical that would like to build solutions with regards to cyber. You could be someone that wants to be customer you know facing yeah. and engaging on on uh, you know um, uh, tips and tricks and techniques that they could use to become more powerful within their organization. Uh, so there's a bunch of different roles that that are available, and I think regardless of the industry you're coming from, uh, folks have the opportunity to uh, influence. Uh, security operation either in an organization or at a vendor like Arctic Wolf. Absolutely. So just to summarize, uh, people from retail, tech, entertainment, healthcare, there's things out there for everyone. Is that true? Absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Nick, thanks for joining me on the program and highlighting a little bit more about what's going on with the skills shortage at the moment and how we can look to fix it up. Great. Thanks. Well, that's the program for now. See you next time as we continue to unpack this expanding space right here on Ending Cyber Risk. You're watching Ticker. We'll have more in just a few minutes.